Hey guys, I'm Jamie Roy. And I'm Mariana Fry. So solar eclipse coming up on Monday, and you can't look at it with your eyes, otherwise you're going to burn your eyes out. So Ariana is going to show us how to make a pinhole projector using a cardboard box. So here are the things you're going to need. Cardboard box, just one piece of paper, masking tape and electrical tape, or duct tape if you have, a pin, pens, scissors, and aluminum foil. Okay, so first to start off, you cut off the one side flap of your cardboard box. Does this have to be perfect? No, not at all. All right, so I feel like this might be far from me. <laughs> but hey, if I can do this, anyone can. Step numero uno. Okay, so here what you'll do is cut each of these flaps in half so you have space to put your head inside the box. So the idea is on one side you'll cut a hole and put your aluminum foil there and poke a pinhole through it. When you face the sun, the sunlight will come through there and it'll project onto the back of the box where we have a piece of white paper and you can watch the solar eclipse safely without burning your eyes. Oh, there we go! There we go! Okay, Almost now the other side. Almost poked my eyes out before the solar eclipse. So now what you do is take your masking tape and tape the three pieces together. Gotta find where this roll starts first. <laughs> you have to make sure that all corners of the box, and for us, the bottom of our box, you have to cover all of the holes so no light can get in. So this is where duct tape would work better, but since we don't have it, we'll be using electrical tape. So once you got all your stuff, this project is actually pretty easy. So moms or dads, you guys can do this, do this with your kids, and you can even do it Monday morning right before the eclipse. Perfect. Now the bottom is sealed. Okay, so on the side of the box that doesn't have the flap, you want to draw out a small rectangle, cut it out, and then cover it with aluminum foil. Yep. Beautiful. Now you just have to cut it out. So now we got the hole. Now you take your aluminum foil and tape it on the inside of the hole. You want it to be as smooth as you can and also put the dull side facing out. So just to be specific, if people don't know what the dull side is, what's the dull side on the aluminum foil? Because I don't even know. Well. Here, it's shiny and very, very reflective, which will reflect the light. And if you flip it over, it's not quite as shiny, and it won't reflect the light as much, which you want facing outside so the light comes into the box. Which side is it on? The dull side. Oh, it's okay. There we go. So now what you want to do is take your pen. Pen. Oh, pen. I you said pen. And press it directly down and then carefully pull it up. Perfect. And now for the final thing, you take your piece of printer paper and tape it down on the inside of the box. That is going to be the screen of your projection box. So when the light comes in through the pinhole you made on the opposite side, it'll come up on the paper. All right, so that's it. It's ready to go. Here's the one I made, and now we can go watch the eclipse safely. Let's go. All right, so now we're outside, and we're gonna see if these things work. So you just put it on your head, point it at point the back part where the tinfoil is at the sun, and then you just kind of align the dot with the paper. Hey, there's the sun, and I'm not burning my eyes out. You see that dot in the center of the paper, so that's where the sun would be. So now you can watch the solar eclipse and save your eyes. And now with just a few minutes of work, you guys can watch the solar eclipse safely.